Good morning. It's time for breakfast. We're on Luke chapter 16. And he also said to his taught ones, There was a certain rich man who had a manger, and he was accused to him as wasting his possessions. So having called him, he said to him, What is this I hear about you? Give an account of your management, for you are no longer able to be manager. And the manager said within himself, What shall I do? For my master is taking the, man the managership away from me. I am unable to dig. I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, that when I am removed from the management managership, they might receive me into their houses. And calling every one of his master's debtors to him, he said to the first, how much do you owe my master? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. And he said to him, Take your bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then to another he said, And how much do you owe? And he said, A hundred measures of wheat. And he said to him, Take your bill and write eighty. And the master praised the unrighteous manager because he had acted shrewdly because the sons of this age are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light and I say to you make friends for yourselves but unrighteous mammon that when you fail they shall receive you into everlasting dwellings he who is trustworthy in what is least is trustworthy also in much and he who is unrighteous in what is least is unrighteous also in much. If therefore you have not been trustworthy in the unrighteous mammon, who shall entrust to you the true? And if you have not been trustworthy in what is another man's, who shall give you what is your own? No servant is able to serve two masters. For either he shall hate the one and love the other, or else he shall cling to the one and despise the other. You are not able to serve Elohim and Mammon. And the Pharisees who loved silver also heard all this and were sneering at him. And he said to them, You are those who declare yourselves righteous before men, but Elohim knows your hearts, because what is highly thought of among men is an abomination in the sight of Elohim. The Torah and the prophets are until Yohanan. Since then, the reign of Elohim is being announced, and everyone is doing violence upon it. And it is easier for the heaven and the earth to pass away than for one title of the Torah to fall. Everyone putting away his wife and marrying another commits adultery. And everyone marrying her who is put away from her husband commits adultery. But there was a certain rich man who used to dress in purple and fine linen and lived luxuriously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Elazar, being covered with sores, who was placed at his gate. And longing to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Indeed, even the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to be that the beggar died and was carried by the messengers to the bosom of Abraham. And the rich man also died and was buried. And while suffering tortures in Sheol, Having lifted up his eyes, he saw Abraham far away, and Eleazar in his bosom. And crying out, he said, Father Abraham, have compassion on me, and send Eleazar to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your life, you received your good, and likewise, Eleazar the evil, but now he is comforted, and you are suffering. 
And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set, so that those who wish to pass from here to you are unable, nor do those from there pass to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, that you would send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers. Let him warn them, lest they also come to this place of torture. Abraham said to him, They have Moshe and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they shall repent. But he said to him, If they do not hear Moshe and the prophets, neither would they be persuaded, even if one should rise from the dead. And he said to the taught ones, It is inevitable that stumbling blocks should come, but woe to him though whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone is put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. Then that he should cause one of these little ones to stumble. Take heed to yourself. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in a day, and seven times in a day comes back to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. And the emissary said to the master, Give us more belief. And the master said, if you have belief as a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. But who of you, having a serpent plowing or shepherding, would say to him when he has come in from the field, come immediately and sit down to eat? But would he not rather say to him, prepare somewhat for my supper, and gird yourself and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterward you shall eat and drink. Would he thank that servant because he did what he was commanded? I think not. So also you, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, we are unworthy servants. We have done what our duty to do. Done was our duty to do. We have done what was our duty to do. And it came to be, as he went to Yerushalayim, that he passed through the midst of Shomron and Galil. And as he was entering into a certain village, he was met by ten leprous men who stood at a distance. And they lifted up their voices, saying, Yeshua, Master, have compassion on us. And having seen them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priest. And it came to be that as they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned praising Elohim with a loud voice. And he fell down upon his face at his feet, giving thanks to him. And he was a Shomeroni. And Yeshua answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Was no one found to return to give praise to Elohim except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise, go your way. Your belief has made you well. And having been asked by the Pharisees when the reign of Elohim would come, he answered them and said, The reign of Elohim does not come with intent watching. Nor shall they say, Look here or look there, for look, the reign of Elohim is in your midst. And he said to the taught ones, Days shall come when you shall long to see one of the days of the son of Adam, but you shall not see it. And they shall say to you, Look here or look there. Do not go after them, nor follow. For as the lightning that flashes out of one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so also the son of Adam shall be in his day. But first he has to suffer much 
and be rejected by this generation. And as it came to be in the days of Noah, so also it shall be in the days of the son of Adam. They were eating and they were drinking, they were marrying, they were giving in marriage until the day that Noah went into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And likewise, as it came to be in the days of Lot, they were eating, they were drinking, they were buying and they were selling, they were planting, they were building. But on the day Lot went out of Saddam, it rained fire and sulfur from heaven and destroyed all. It shall be the same in the day of the son of Adam is revealed. In that day, he who shall be on the housetop and his goods in the house, let him not come down to take them away. And likewise, the one who is in the field, let him not turn back. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to save his life shall lose it. And whoever loses his life shall preserve it. I say to you, in that night there shall be two in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. And they answering said to him, Where, master? And he said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures shall be gathered together.